Good morning. Welcome to volume 60 of Coffee with the Tag for June 17th. Yeah, June 17th. Happy Father's Day to all the good fathers out there. And the fathers like me, well, enjoy your day. Even though you probably don't deserve it. Anyway. Did um, a lot of NR2K yesterday. Got um, five or six hot laps knocked out in different uh, mods, different physics. Been a while since I've actually run NR2K. So, like a week. <laughs> Call that a while. It's been like a week. I got those knocked out. So, that, that there's... Got that accomplished. I've actually spent time on all my sims in the last couple of days. While I spent time, I did a GTL last night, or the yesterday, and um, three or four of those, and then I spent a little time with the, a set of Corso on, still can't drive the car, still got to figure out the braking distance and stuff like that. It's a Ford GT40, um, a lot of power, little brakes, I don't know how they race these things in real life, but that's the way it is. Also spent some time on R-Factor, um, with the, um, 76 F1 car, the 26 that I'm running at uh, North Chief. Um, the other track seems to have the one that has the writing on the track that makes it look like it did back then. Uh, actually, it has a little better grip to it. Uh, still not driving clean laps at all. Still, that's again another. Actually, driving those two cars together, even though they're two entirely different sims, two entirely different kind of cars, are probably going to help me with either or because they both have. A lot of power, no brakes. <laughs> so anyway, that's that. I didn't do any videos for the NR2K stuff. I should have. I didn't even think about it when I did it. I did videos for everything else but the NR2K stuff. I just took screenshots and posted them. I should do a couple of videos for NR2K. So, you know, it's not about left out. A lot of them are ovals. Ovals, doing ovals was boring. But a couple of them were road courses and I should have I done them. But I didn't, I didn't, I don't know. I just didn't. Don't know why. Yeah, I overslept a little this morning. Had a hard time falling asleep last night. Got a lot on my mind. So this is a little later than it has been all week. About a half hour or so. Oh, not too bad. I'm just worried about having to begin up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Sometime next week, starting next week. So I can get this done before I go to work. Basically, that's why. It's so I can get this done. And so y'all can have your coffee with the TIG in the morning and not late evening or early evening. There you go. That's that's the reason why I'm doing that. But uh, um, I had posted a link. This is what I forgot yesterday, by the way, and I'm going to get this out of the way. I should have taken care of this first, but, you know, what the hell my vlog if I remember how to do stuff I remember how to do stuff I remembered what I forgot yesterday I belong to quite a few sim racing communities on Facebook pages and groups and whatnot um, and I share this vlog on a few of them um, one of them I guess because I didn't talk about NR2K because that's what the site is they decided to kick me out of the group Boo on them. I mean, seriously, just because I didn't talk about NR2K that day, you boot me out. I mean, it's all sim racing. We're all sim racers. We all, most of us drive other sims. Most of us do. If you're going to be that narrow-minded and pig-headed to kick me out of your group, I didn't want to be it in the first place. There you go. If you're going to be that narrow-minded, you know, that's just the way it is. I, John Norton doesn't kick me out of his groups. They like me over there, those two groups that he's a part of. <laughs> I posted in a set of Corsa yesterday, too, so in one of the set of Corsa groups I belong to. So let's see how that goes, if, I, if I'm still in that group or not. Um, I don't belong to any R-Factor groups and, or GTR2 groups, because most of those are foreign language groups, not non-English speaking, we won't call it foreign language, 
non-English speaking group, so I don't like running a translator every five seconds to read something. I'm just lazy that way, so I don't belong to any of those. So, there's that. But, um, so, <clears throat> God, no need to oversleep in the morning, I'll tell you that much. Can't, can't afford to do that. Um, five o'clock comes awfully early. <laughs> Anywho, the wife's got on this horror movie kick. We buy these horror movies, cheap ones, like six movies for five dollars, and she's been watching a lot of those at night. Boring. <laughs> a lot of them are. A lot of a lot of them are really low budget, really boring, bad writing, bad production. I don't know how much more of this I could take. Supposed to be Father's Day. I'm a father. Five. The Tig has five children, ranging from ages almost 16 to 28. Well, she yeah, she just turned 28. So yeah, I have one granddaughter that I know of. My children, unfortunately, I'm one of those people the children do not talk to. Sorry, kids. That's the way that dad's. That's the way dad is. Been this way his whole life. Mom should have explained it to you. Mom spent almost 12 years with Dad, so she should know. Oh, well. Anyway, sorry for that. No, I'm not going to delete and start over, because I won't remember everything I talked about. So, you get a little bit more look into that. You know, if you click that watermark there, down there, and you can subscribe to my page here. Um, if you just watch this on one of the little links that I post on Facebook, just click that little right down here this little ticker click on that subscribe I'm up to th I'm, I'm hovering at 33 subscribers I get about well 12 to 17 views which isn't bad I sure like to see how people make money on YouTube I don't think I ever will but <laughs> who knows maybe this will take off and people will be interested in hearing what an old man has to say I keep calling myself old. You look at my... Yeah, I'm old. Yeah, I'm old. I feel old. I feel old every time it rains. <laughs> every time I wake up. Well, I continue to wake up, so that's probably a good thing. Um. Oh, boy. Now I get the tea here. God damn it. One fun thing, too. Bad take. Bad, bad take. Anyway... I was, I was just closing out yesterday, I was talking about um, online racing, especially in an R2K, is still very prevalent. Some people think that it's because it's not, they don't have the Sierra servers anymore, that nobody can race online, and iRacing is the only way to do it. Mm -mm. Race department posts 10 or 15 races a week for every other sim. Um, some of them are based in the USA, so, you know, that's not, um, it's not, 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 not happening. There's some racing going on in this country. Um, all you gotta do is look it up on the internet. You're on the computer. You'll look it up. Hobo Racing League. I think HoboRacing.net, I think it is. It's where I, you know, I said that I raced there for a few years before I got on satellite and couldn't do it anymore. Now for an R2K, that is probably one of the best leagues to get involved with. They're uber friendly. They are curdy they 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 let new guys grow. I've been in leagues where a new guy comes in, can't handle his car or whatever, and they boot him. They don't even give him a chance, they just boot him. Hobo doesn't do that, unless you're really, really bad, and, you know, you got to be really, really bad to be booted. Um, bunch of nice guys. Hoboken, New Jersey. One lives in California now. Dan Rubino, who is one of is, is one of the brothers. Dan and Steve Rubino, good guys. They run the, run the site. They run the league. Dan shares my birthday. <laughs> Funny. Both named Van Dan. He's just a couple years older than me. Well, maybe ten. But good guys. So if you're looking for a good 
uh, in our 2K League. That's the one to go to. If you're not, not sure of a league, go to NR 2003 Community on Facebook, and leagues are listed there. I mean, there's plenty of them out there. So if you want to race online with other drivers and not pay iRacing's expenses and you've had an R2K for years and you still like running it like that, that's what you do. You get online. It's not as not there's servers. There's something I don't get involved with it because I don't I can't do it. But there's, I know um, GPL still has that list, the server list, and there's always two or three servers up for that too. And that's a twenty. That one is twenty years old. That one came out in 1998. And that one's twenty years old, and there's still people racing that online. You don't see people rumbling about that, and that's not not even readily available for download like NR2K is. Um, illegally downloading it on the internet because they think it's uh, abandoned wear or freeware or whatever where it's not but it's out there so if you can find it get it not that hard to find actually I really to be honest with you but um, uh, TPL is you have to have a disc I've not ever seen an illegal download for that at all I could be wrong, but I've never gone looking for it because I've had the disc for over 10 years, so there you go. Anyway, happy Father's Day. Smoke me a kipper. I'll be back for breakfast.